What's up, everybody? This is Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com, and I wanted to tell you about a contest that I held over the weekend at FitCon Texas 2017. Before I get to that, just want to say thank you to Big J from Big J's Extreme Fitness for inviting me to run the contest, and also for everyone at Extreme Iron Pro Gym uh, in where the where the contest was held, where the whole entire event was held, uh, for putting everything on. Great event. The reason for the video, just want to tell you about the contest that I ran because it's a little bit different from what I've done. I've run several contests at locations in the past. I've run sanctioned events, non-sanctioned events. Um, I, I've run them several different ways, run grip challenges, and I think that this one went the best for the environment that this contest involved. So essentially I was going into a situation where no one had any idea there was even going to be a grip contest. No one even knew that grip was a sport. They had no idea. So to go in there and run a multiple event contest with strict requirements that we do in, in, a, in a regular sanctioned grip meet, I think I figured it would make no sense to do that, and certainly no one was going to put up a an entry fee of twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars. It just wasn't going to happen. There were challenges going on all over the place, and they were all free, so I didn't charge them anything for the contest, and I didn't bore them to death with, um, you know dictated jumps or you know increases in the weight on all the events I wanted to make it really easy and, and uh, easy to understand and everything like that so these were the events didn't have a bunch of grippers either no grippers in this event these were the events rolling thunder first off and it was as many reps as possible in 60 seconds just like the grip rushes that you see that I put up on the on the channel all the time the men did 90 pounds, women did 45, and uh, we had one youngster named Jasmine, and she did, I believe, uh, I believe 20 pounds. The next event was Bullring Hub. We used the four-inch model because the five-inch model I figured would be too big for a lot of the people's hands. So everybody used the four-inch model. We started out with 10 pounds. And we increased by two and a half pound jumps, and everybody would get a turn until they failed. I gave multiple attempts. I'd let them take up to even five attempts sometimes, just because there there weren't a ton of people waiting or anything like that. It wasn't like I was under time constraints, so I, I let them take a few tries, and it worked really well. And then the final event was a very simple pinch, hold for time, plate pinch. So the men tried 225s. I let everyone try 225s. I think all the men got 225s off the ground, except for maybe one or two. I think uh, well, none of the women were able to break the 225s off the ground, so for them we dropped down to 310s. And then if, if anyone couldn't get 310s, then we went to 210s. So little Jasmine hit the 210s. This allowed everybody to get a successful attempt on the on the plate pinch. They got one try. And if no one was waiting and they wanted to try left-handed, I let them. Who cares? It doesn't matter. They were able to get exposed to the sport of grip. A couple, uh, a couple of the implements that are often used both in grip sport competitions and in grip training. And they were able to uh, get an informational uh, handout that I produced. <coughs> So it was a good introduction to grip sport. I, I don't know the numbers. It was it was between 20 and 30 people I think that went through it, all kinds of age groups, and most of them were you know bodybuilding, uh, figure, you know these kinds of competitors. Several women. Uh, there were a couple power lifters that came through, a couple strongman competitors. It was a great mix, and uh, I was really excited about it because uh, the other thing that worked well was this, and this might be the most important thing. I would have like two to five people sign up at a time. We would do the Rolling Thunder. 
everybody would go through. We would do the bull ring, pub pinch, and everybody would go through. And then we would do the plate pinch, everybody would go through. So that would wrap up their three events. And then by the time that they were done, I, would, I attracted a crowd, the contest attracted a crowd of the next two to five people that went through. So I was able to, uh, I was able to accumulate multi, uh, many competitors throughout the day and then compare all of their performances at the end. It worked out great. And by the end, the winner of the men's section was Tanner Merkel. And the winner of the women's was Taylor Bayless. So it, I thought it went great. I, I was extremely happy. And I think it's the way to go for when uh, you have the opportunity to run a contest at uh, an expo or something along those lines. This is definitely the, the best one that I've been involved in out of like six, seven, eight over the years. I've run many different formats, tried to run actual sanction contests, like as if uh, everybody knew what they were doing. You know, those have never gone too well, never had a lot of people sign up. Um, I've, I've literally just run a challenge where people can try everything that lays on the, on the ground. Often people are too intimidated to try. The format that I did over this weekend, you know, people could see that the lifters that were going that they were watching were having fun and they might actually be you know similar similar abilities similar potentials to what what they were watching so they wanted to try it and it worked out great so if you're if you're possibly planning on running uh, a grip challenge or a grip contest you've got the opportunity to run one in front of a lot of people it's a it is an awesome opportunity it really is and this could just be the way that you'd want to do it if you are planning on running something like this and you'd like more information then please feel free to leave a comment here or contact me through my website dieselcrew.com and uh, I'll be happy to give you the details all right everybody I wish you the best in your training and remember the first rule of grip sport is you tell everybody about grip sport